John Dewey and Herbert Thielen are credited with group investigation model. In this model, students are organized into problem-solving groups to attack academic problems and are taught democratic procedures and scientific methods of inquiry as they proceed. The group process is organized and defined by the teacher. Democratic process, being referred to as classroom groups, to do any or all of the following tasks. The following tasks are 1. Develop a social system 2. Conduct scientific method and inquiry 3. Use inquiry to solve a social or interpersonal problem 4. Provide an experience-based learning situation. All right, class, good morning. Good morning. Today we're going to go ahead and we are going to discuss um, your journalistic rights. Okay? So imagine how you would feel if you, um, if the principal came to school and suddenly said um, and made a rule against wearing t-shirts that uh, represented wearing uh, or t-shirts that had anything to do with um, music groups or bands um, or dealt or said anything about video games on them or had rainbows and what, what if the principal came in and it said that you couldn't wear a shirt that had the color purple in it imagine how you would feel so take a moment and kind of think about that all right, so in your groups, um, you have a paper, and it has three questions on it, okay? Um, those three questions are, what are your rights? Does your right to freedom of speech exist at school as it does outside of the class or outside of school? And how does the freedom of speech affect your journalistic right? So those are three questions that we're going to be looking at um, today. So, would somebody like to um, answer a question? How would you feel if the principal came in and said that you couldn't wear a shirt that had the color purple in it? Sarah? Very bad. You feel very bad? Okay. Hayden, how would you feel? I'd be upset because they're basically saying I can't wear something just because of a color when I have the right to bear arms, um, speech. Okay. All right. Great answer. All right. Anybody else want to share how you would feel? Kylene, you like music. So what if what if they um, uh, what if the principal came in and said that you couldn't wear out uh, wear a, a Fallout Boy shirt to school? How would you feel about it? How would you feel? Katie, you're in band. How would you feel? Upset because I should have the right to wear a shirt if it's not inappropriate or anything. Okay. So if it's not inappropriate, you feel like you should be able, able to wear it. Okay. So, um, so that's going to kind of get us started. Um, and that's kind of where we're going to be going today as far as our inquiry on our lesson. Our objective is to identify um, what freedom of speech is. Um, you're going to get to learn about the background of a, um, a, a very famous case in um, history from the Supreme Court called Tinker versus Des Moines um, ISD. And then you're going to get to inquire information through um, the use of the computer uh, to learn information about your um, journalistic rights. So as a journalist, um, you have some, some specific rights. So at school, do we have rules? Do you have rights at school? Okay. Are your rights at school the same as they are outside of school? Yes? No? Don't know? Okay. Well, those are some things that we're going to be um, looking at today. Okay. So um, we're going to be working in groups, and your groups have already been decided for you. Um, we have um, groups of three, and um, you're going to be uh, given some tasks for our group inquiry. 
The first task that you're going to be doing is you're going to be watching a video, okay? Um, and it's very similar to this question here, but you're going to um, watch a video, and then you are going to, as a group, respond to some questions about the video. The second task is you're going to be looking at um, this uh, piece of paper here that has the... Um, Tinker versus Des Moines ISD School District Supreme Court case, and it just kind of summarizes it for you. Okay, um, the second uh, that's the second task. The third task is your group as a group, someone in your group is going to be the scribe, so you're going to get to pick the scribe, and you're going to um, mark up this um, Supreme Court case um, with some given directions. Task number four is what if. So there are some what if questions that you're going to be looking at. Um, and those questions will be um, on uh, Google Docs. And you'll make those um, answer selections. And then you'll submit the form to me through uh, Google Docs. Task five asks a question. It's called what about Ben? And Ben is a boy that you will um, get to meet um, from task one in the video that we're watching. And then your sixth task is as a group, you're going to reflect upon what you've learned through your inquiry of our objectives um, that we have um, set about, and then you're gonna present um, what you've learned to the class. Okay, does everybody understand? All right, so before we um, break up into our groups and allow you to, and I allow you to go ahead and start, you, um, let's go ahead and champ out how we, um, what, what our classroom behavior is going to be and how we behave during group activities in here. Okay, so um, Devlin, can you tell me uh, what our C will be? Conversation. Okay, it's going to be conversation. And in groups, how are we going to be speaking? We're going to be speaking quietly to each other. So we're going to have an inside voice. Um, you don't have to whisper. Um, so we're going to be able to hear people in class, but we're just not going to be screaming at each other. Um, Sid, what is our H? H is, um, how do you ask for help? So how are we going to be asking for help? You can raise your hand. What's another way when we're in groups that we can ask for help? Um, Katie? Ask three before me. Okay, ask three before me. So you can ask, you've got three people in your group, ask some of your group members, and then you can come and ask me. Um, so Sarah, what is our activity going to be? That would be the A. Group work. We're going to be doing group work with the three people in our group. Okay. Um, Hayden? What's our movement going to be during um, this activity? Um, get and return supplies. Okay, so you can get and return supplies. You can move around. Um, are you going to be able to use the computer to help you answer some of your questions? Yes. Yes. So um, you're going to be able to have some movement um, in the classroom. And um, Kylene, what is um, P for uh, participation? Okay, so you're going to be discussing with your group um, and making sure that everybody is um, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, do we have any questions? All right, so your job today is to be a journalistic investigator. Okay, and you're going to use the internet and you are going to go through these six tasks. Um, and you are going to look to um, identify um, what your rights, your journalistic rights are for the freedom of speech and um, how, is that how is your freedom defined at school? So is there a difference between your freedoms at school and your freedoms outside of school? Okay, any questions? All right. Y'all can go ahead and you can start your um, group work. Okay. This is our board students at 6 o'clock with Amber Dixon, meteorologist, and our number one news anchor, Giselle Puente, with breaking news. 
time it and I think it's paragraph four there are four acts of violence of big school groups and outside classes class a few students made nasty remarks to those who wore armbands very good very good all right so y'all are working on some of your questions what are your rights um, how does your right of freedom of speech exist at school and how does it exist outside of school and um, how does freedom of speech affect your journalistic rights so um, y'all as a group are going to be answering these questions um, so w what are your rights What, what do you want me to write? Religion. <laughs> Suggestions from this one. Um, speech. All right, class. So we're now on task six. We've gone through all the five um, tasks. And your job was to be um, an investigative uh, journalist and find out about your... Um, uh, write as a, a, a journalist and to also find out about this famous um, Tinker versus Des Moines ISD case. So um, you've, we've chosen one person from each group who's going to present what they have learned. Um, so Sid, can you tell us what you learned about the Tinker background, uh, the Tinker versus Des Moines ISD case in regards to Ben? We, we, we saw Ben in the video. What did um, what, what did you learn from Ben's experience and from reading this information? Um, the principal must have good evidence to believe that that banned t-shirts will be disruptive and student expression is disruptive if it disrupts class or causes trouble between classes. Very good. So if our principal came in and said that you can't wear a t-shirt that relates to uh, music groups or video games or rainbows or the color of purple, um, they can impose this rule only if what? Uh, if, it's true. Evidence. If, if he has evidence. If he has evidence that it's going to do what? Be disruptive. Be disruptive. Okay. Now, if a student, okay, how do how do we know when students are disruptive? If their uh, their expression is disruptive, you don't get your classwork done. Well, we don't get our classwork done, but what what is the definition of student expression? When when can we when what what did what did Tinker say was the rule? What was the the ruling on t on student expression? What did y'all have in if your it notes? Disrupts uh, the class. Okay, so if it disrupts the class, or if there is a disruptive uh, student expression, when? Between, between classes. classes. Okay, between classes. All right. So our second group, Katie. Um, let's go back to those original three questions that we um, originally talked about when we first started our inquiry task about our um, freedom of speech. What did you find out through the investigation of the inquiry of these um, five tasks? What did your group find out? That our rights of religion, freedom of speech, press and assembly, okay. and uh, our freedom of speech exists at school okay. different than outside of school. Okay, so we have the freedom of speech here at school, but outside of school it's different. Why is it different in school? Certain things you say can be determined as destructive. Very good. All right. What else did y'all learn? And um, speak, how does the freedom of speech affect your journalistic right? It prohibit it, speech isn't prohibited unless there is a good evidence that the speech will not be disruptive in school setting. Very good. All right, guys. So y'all are ready to now go out and be, uh, be journalists, and um, you've, you've learned some of the um, rules as a journalist and your freedom of speech. Good job. All right. Y'all have a great afternoon.